Hi guys, welcome to Irish Funny Vlogs and welcome to another video of mine. A bit of an impromptu video today. I have my jacket on, so uh, I'm essentially ready to go out the door. But I just wanted to give my thoughts on this, this European Super League scenario that seems to have developed in many ways overnight. Um, and my relation to the, to the game here and, and that kind of thing. Um, from my point of view... You know, I don't think this will happen. I don't think the European Super League is going to happen. I think it's um, the big clubs protesting against UEFA. Um, UEFA want the Champions League expanded. They want, essentially, they want, uh, instead of groups, they want leagues, uh, whereby each team will pretty much play 10 matches before they even go to a knockout stage. Um, a lot of clubs in Europe don't want that to happen. I personally wouldn't like it to happen either. Um, but the bigger picture here for me in terms of all this talk, etc. Even if this European Super League doesn't happen, um, the issues have still been there in this type of level of football for, for a while. Ever since um, big money started to get pumped into the, into the game due to TV deals, etc., etc., And it's just kind of exasperated the last few years, to be honest with you as well. And the idea of European Super League is just another level of that um, of that chain. You know, I mean, these days you go to games and forget about COVID for a minute, pretend we can go to games. But these days people go to games, guys, and um, at that level. And it's just, it's, it just feels so artificial nowadays. You know, corporate, commercial, um, the wages have gone sky high for players. Um, player power is, is a huge thing at, at that level in particular. Um, kind of a touristy, turn in American style, if you get me. Um, extravaganza football. Um, and it's a difficult watch, I think, in that kind of way. Yeah, at that level, you see top level football. If Manchester United are playing Liverpool, you see top level players. I understand that. And uh, most people do understand that. But is the heart of football still there? Um, I don't think it is. And if it is, it's ebbing away quickly. And this, the talk of the European Super League is another extension of that. I mean, I've been talking about it for a while in terms of Irish footy vlogs and in terms of the, the Irish game and the League of Ireland, etc. And that can go across global to, um, you know, people who live in other countries, um, you know, Scotland or whatever, and, you know, their local clubs for far, but they don't, they've never been to it, whatever, you know, any country, you know, where the level is a bit more, um, I would say real, uh, and you don't have the, that corporateness, you don't have that huge commercial side to it as well. Um, you know, it's a like, you've never had a greater opportunity, and this even before the European Super League talk, but it, it's just kind of, you know, reinforce that for me. People have never had the better opportunity going out and supporting local football, no matter where they live, no matter what country they live in. You can still kind of watch these games kind of from afar, but, you know, there really is nothing better than going and watching a football match live, you know? Okay, I take the point in Ireland, right? Facilities aren't great. That's fantastic. I understand that. Facilities aren't great. It's still an excuse for me for people not to go. Um, most people that watch League of Ireland football understand that, in general, the facilities aren't great at the moment, but they still get to watch live football. Um, you know, players fighting for contracts, basically, every week, every year. Um, you know, real volunteers working extremely hard at clubs all over the country here in Ireland, be it Finn Harfs, be it um, Drottedy United, be it Shamrock Rovers, be it Bohemians, whatever, every club, Wexford FC, it doesn't matter what level of club they are, um, and are seriously passionate about the game. That's lost a little at the elite level, at the top, top level. I don't like saying elite level because I still think these players are elite. You know, people will use the excuse of, oh, why would we go and watch that shite League of Ireland, that shite football and all this kind of crap. It's not shite football. It's not tried football. Just because the players may not be the level of players that are getting 100 to 200 grand a week doesn't mean it's tried football. You can watch Manchester City play Chelsea tomorrow and the game may not be a spectacle either. So the idea of 
every game you watch in the Premier League, let's say, being a, a spectacle is a lot of tosh, to be honest with you. Um, you can get good games in the League of Ireland. Yes, there's mistakes. There's probably more mistakes, but that adds to it as well. Um, a lot of people also make the excuse to say, you know, they don't support a team. There's no team really that close or, or whatever. I'm from Ashburn in County Mead. Um, there isn't really a club near me as such. Okay, Dublin clubs are fairly close, okay? And Drotter would be fairly close as well. I understand that. But I'm not coming from a background, a League of Ireland background whatsoever. There's no background there. So, um, you know, it's no excuse that way. Like, I support St. Patrick's Athletic. I didn't support anybody. Um, I went and watched a few League of Ireland games and organically just St. Pat's uh, cling to me. So I support St. Pat's. But there's a lot of people out there that could do similar. Just go to games. It doesn't matter who's playing. And maybe then you become attached to a team. Maybe you don't, but maybe you do. And that's how you get into it. Um, you know, League of Ireland games, when we fans in, right? When we fans in, you're paying 15 quid, basically, to go in and watch a game. You're not paying, was it for Arsenal? Arsenal's like 80 or 90 euro, for example, in the Premier League. You're paying 15 quid to watch a game of football for 90 minutes. It's a sample of the atmosphere. And let me tell you this. In League of Ireland, when you get grounds full, or even close to full, there can be a great atmosphere at these grounds because they're so compact. And um, it's, you know, if you have a couple of thousand people in a compact ground, the, the atmosphere it can generate can be better than a 40,000 stadium, like, you know what I mean? Um, with 30,000 tourists at the game, let's say. Um, so the atmosphere can be fantastic at these games. And you go for that. You go for the atmosphere. You go for watching football on your doorstep. Uh, real football being played by real people. Clubs being looked after by real people. Um, clubs being run generally by real people. Um, and that's what you go for. It really is. Um, ultimately, that's what football's about. Like years ago before all the big money came into it and the, the commercial and corporate stuff came into the game years ago, and even in the English Top Flight, you had this as well, for example. Um, you know, you'd have the father and son going to games almost every week. And it's about bringing your, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's about all that as well. I'm having a bond uh, from going to games. Um, you know, the level here is irrelevant. Um there's honesty in, in, in our game as well. There's honesty in our game overall. Um, as I said, with the facilities as well, that's not the club's fault, by the way. You can blame the FAI for that generally, to be fair, uh, for not investing in the League of Ireland. But the other point is, it is point of it is, if people were disillusioned with the game at that level, at the high level of your Premier League type level, and want real football, yet they look at the League of Ireland, for example, and go, eh, it's not for me. Go, I'm telling you. And by the way, the bigger the crowds you get at games, so the more people that take an interest and go, um, the more interest will come in from uh, companies, etc., from, you know, all sorts of people that could invest more into the game and and help maybe the facilities, etc., to grow and the game to grow. Um, I do want the game to grow, by the way, in Ireland. Absolutely. I don't want it ever to get, and it never will, by the way, but I wouldn't want it ever to get like uh, the, the level of uh, the Premier League or even La Liga and leagues like that. Like, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, we, we can get there if people just, you know, this is your country. There's football in your country that you can go out and see, go out and watch. Do you know what I mean? It, it's your country. Let's like embrace that as well. Um if you really, really enjoy football, like there's like most people have never been to Manchester United games or Liverpool games, or might go occasionally. But if you really, really, really enjoy football, then there's no better feeling than actually going to a match and actually watching the match um, live. Because um, you know, it might be stupid, but things like the smell of the grass. Um, you know, you're getting out as well, which is another thing. You're actually getting out and doing something. So for me, you know, the European Super League and all this talk, it just reinforced all that for me. And, um, you know, just do it. Support your Manchester United, support your Liverpool, support your Chelsea, whoever, that's fine. Uh, no problem at all. 
you can support them from afar as such. But let's go and watch games in our own country, guys. There's people seriously passionate and putting a lot of work into their own clubs and have the desire and have the hunger. They just need help. They need support, if you like. And the only way you can support is actually going and um, and and watching these football matches, guys. So um, that's about it, guys, really. That's all I have to say. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think about the European Super League idea? Uh, am I right? Am I wrong? Um, that's about it, guys. Subscribe if you're new. Hit your bell notification button. And please like the video. Uh, plenty more videos on the way, guys. Team of the week coming out tomorrow. First division reviews coming out later on and currently have the Premier Division reviews as well so uh, thanks for listening guys uh, sorry it was a bit uh, rambly but um, that was the idea as well, I just wanted to get whatever was on my chest off so uh, thanks for watching guys, see you later, bye bye now